There we go. We just pulled in at Grenadier Pond in High Park and I threw in two casts and I caught myself our first fish for the day. Nice, very good looking bluegill right there. The hook out and get him back in the water. High Park has plenty of free parking and washrooms available, with no admission cost to enter the park. You could expect to catch panfish like pumpkin seed, bluegill, and perch, as well as large or smallmouth bass or pike, depending on the season. It's important to keep in mind that only the southern half of the pond is a permitted fishing area. The upper half of the pond, as well as anywhere else in the park, is a no fishing zone. Signs like this one here are posted all along the water, so there's no need to be concerned if you're in the wrong place. Just look for the signage. Fish number two. Again, another bluegill I just caught here at Grenadier Pond. He hooked himself just perfectly so I could remove the hook easily. With my bare hands. And then let him back into the water. Whoop. They're good at doing it for themselves sometimes. <laughs> so not my biggest fish, but this is a very juvenile, I would say, uh, bluegill. Oh, they keep doing that to me. And the city of Toronto has made these really fantastic fishing nodes, and they just like to congregate underneath them because they create so much structure and so much shade. So if you l walk over and put your line out just over the edge, you can easily catch some of these bluegill. I just caught that small little bluegill and I came back over to the spot I was at to cast in yet and I didn't even fully let go of my line yet. And this perch gobbled it up and he set the hook quite nicely there so I don't have to worry about getting my pliers out. So let's see if I can't drop this guy today. A nice little Grenadier Pond perch. And like whenever you're going to handle these fish, you want to handle them as little as possible. So I'm going to get them back in the water. But when you do that, you're going to make sure you don't spine yourself by pushing back that dorsal fin to protect yourself and get that fish back in the water sooner. And another one. Not disappointing, this spot is definitely a hot spot to come if you're going to be fishing with your kids, your family. Lots of space, lots of room and easy access to have strollers or any wheelchair accessible. It's a great spot to be fishing in the GTA. Okay, so our second spot at Grandier Pond is this nice little bay with lily pads and some weeds that we are switching over to lures that are more geared towards bass. So we're, we're seeing if there's any bass. There have been a few ripples um, without our lures. So there's definitely something eating other fish out there. So we're trying to get it. Alicia's using a crankbait. Top water. <laughs> top water, top water here. Couldn't tell when she casted it. And then uh, Jason's trying a Texas rig to make sure it doesn't get caught up in the weeds. And I had a simple Senko on my rod. So we're gonna see which of those, hopefully one of them catches, but this is another great little spot. It's a pathway, we'll mark it on the website, but it's this nice little pathway. You just have to cast around or over the, uh, the cattails and grasses, and then you've got a nice little spot, a weedy spot right there to catch some fish. 